There's been many different Chuck E. Cheese animatronics over the years, but only a few really stand out for being rare, with the Chuck E. Cheese CU1 stage definitely falling under that title. The CU1 stage changed the name of the band from Munch's Make Believe Band to Chucky's Make Believe Band and put three stage animatronics, watch part one for more info on the three stages, on a single stage so the stage could be smaller and put them in locations that were remodeling. In the future, the idea was to replace more three stages with this setup, but ultimately that never happened with only three locations ever putting them in. The three locations were Springfield, Illinois, Columbus, Georgia, which actually remodeled and got rid of the animatronics while I was editing this, and the location I'm visiting today, Whitehall, Pennsylvania. Let's check out one of only three stages like this, well, I guess technically two now, before you can no longer see it. So this is the stage right here. As I said before, there's only three of these ever. After that, they had like another stage, the Circles of Light, that became more popular because it was cheaper. And then a little bit after that one, they just got rid of the animatronics completely. So they never went back to building these. And that's why there's only three. Another thing unique about this stage in particular is not only is it one of three, but the background is a one of one. The background takes place at night where the other two are in the daytime. And as you can see on the top, it's called Chuck E. Cheese Make Believe Band, where all the other ones were called Munch make believe. As for the characters themselves, they look to be in pretty good condition. I mean, some of them look a little beat up, obviously because they're so old. The animatronics behind me were retrofitted in the early 90s, but were built in the 80s for showbiz pizza. They've been around now for 40 years, and obviously they're going to be a little beat up if they're not taken care of. So we got Chuck E. Cheese right here. He looks like in the best shape. They usually take care of Chuck E. Cheese the most, but I can kind of see why kids would be scared of this. You're eating right here, and he's just staring at you. Then you got Helen over here. She looks fine too. Nothing really too crazy. It's not like the other one I went to where she was literally like falling over. And then you got Munch and he was the most beat up at the other location. He's actually moving around a little bit. Still obviously beat up like under his neck and all. You can see a bunch of damage, but hey, at least he's moving around. As for Jasper, the only really unique thing I see is he doesn't have his hat. Usually he has a hat on, but at this location, he doesn't have it. And then you got Pasquale over here. His face looks a little sunken in, but other than that, he looks okay. He really shakes his head around though there's some points where i feel like it's gonna fall off he moves it so quick and then this is a pretty unique drum it's not the rock of fire explosion drum it's like some new version it looks kind of cool you got the music notes the blue background i remember as a kid so many kids would be at the animatronics looking at him trying to climb on the stage and stuff but i guess nowadays no kids want to be near him i mean i've been here for like a half hour and no one's came over probably because i'm here but still i feel like they're just not as popular as they were and that's part of the reason why chuck e cheese has removed them i guess kids don't care about them anymore so that's it for the one stage and of course now i want to go around and look at the other stuff in this place and show you all the old stuff they got before it goes away the artwork over here is nothing too crazy this is like the generic ones i've seen in every chuck e cheese now they got these two artworks that i've seen in every one as well and they even have the old ticket blaster with the original chuck e cheese you got this chuck e cheese pbs poster these are from 1999 and they're definitely a lot older and they look cool you got chuck e cheese right there playing soccer and then he's playing hockey with mr munch and you can see it's 19 1999 right there with the copyright in the corner i remember as a kid the chuck e cheese i went to had a bunch of old art and i would always just stare at it because it was so cool the art now is just so generic and it got worse over time but the older ones were the best i feel like every chuck e cheese has this i've never even seen an updated one but hey i don't mind that i do love them not only is this an old chuck e cheese basketball hoop but they got the original video in there look how old that is they haven't even changed the video let alone the arcade machine itself you also got them on the side here and it says the real cool place to be a kid oh wow i have to record this i've never seen this so i guess they do have an updated photo booth it is a photo booth with the new chuck e cheese but it's interesting that they have both they got this photo booth and then the sketchbook one it looks like it's more of a real photo than a drawn one over here they have the old ski ball with the chuck e cheese tokens on the wall i always love when they have those just because they don't exist anymore they got this classic machine that i've seen before got the old chuck e cheese on the side and he's also in there this one's pretty unique i've never seen this it's called hammer two you got chuck e cheese right there I guess you get this hammer and slam stuff. Can't get any better than that. And you got Chuck E. Cheese right there holding the hammer. Once again on the side, they never include Pasquale. He always gets left out. You gotta feel bad for him at this point. On this wall, they got two of his faces right there. And then over there, they got the other two. So they got all four, but they're spread out. Might as well throw these in there. You got him up there and him above the pizza. Near the salad bar, they have these two pictures. I've seen that one before of Jasper, but I've never seen this one. Chucky's Garden Fresh Salad Bar. He's a farmer now. And this one I've seen at every location practically now. Of course, they got this ride that I filmed a bunch. They got the new Chuck E. Cheese in there, but the old characters in the car. So usually they replace Chuck E. Cheese, but he's still the old 
old one in there. There's two pieces of artwork shoved behind this Luigi's Mansion game. You got the one right there, Ambassador of Fun. And then this one on the other side, the King of Cool. And this one's actually right behind another old game where you spin the wheel and you got Chuck E. Cheese right there. They also have this old logo that I saw at the other location. I wasn't even gonna film this machine again because I filmed it every time. You got the old Chuck E. Cheese up there, but I've never seen this where they still have the old character selection right there. And every other one I saw, they've updated those, but these are still the originals. But once again, no Pasquale, they hate them. On the side of the stage, they have this over here. You got the old logo, Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza, and then actually says three stage right there. I think it's funny to think too that after they built this stage, they built a couple more, but it wasn't long after until they stopped with the animatronics completely. So this is one of the last new stages they built and the last with all five characters to be included. I guess they didn't want to throw them all out. So they built just a smaller stage for it, but now they don't care. Just throw them all out and build a dance floor. In part three, I'll be visiting a Chuck E. Cheese location that hasn't been updated since the late 90s.